Hello everyone, back to into today's first video. Do we get forecast with today's first video? As always, on a Saturday, we don't going to have a detailed look at the weather for the uh, week ahead. So we've got big changes on the way. Been stuck under gloomy skies and cold easterly winds for many days. Um, still a little bit of that left in the far northeast of the country, but it's brightening up. And it's warming up at the moment, and that could be a trend over the next few days. In fact, by the end of the coming week, it's going to be very warm, if not hot, for April, with temperatures going into the at least the mid 20s Celsius, might even getting towards the upper 20s Celsius, sort of 26, 27. Um, by the time we get through to the end of the week, but maybe with a growing threat of thundery showers that have cooled down next weekend. So I'll tell you for everything that's going on in a moment. We are going to have our first burst of summer this year in the weekend. So quite an exciting uh, forecast. Before I get on with that, just say that websites using full weekend forecasts are coming from the weatheroutlook.com and wetcentral.de. You can find a link to both of those websites on the links page. I'll also leave links in the description box here at YouTube. And uh, just to say that later on today, we're going to have the CFS six months look ahead. So uh, that's just the fun it's going to take us from next month, from May through to uh, October. We go through to October with that when it is just for a bit of a last see what the CFS is showing, uh, and that'll be with you uh, towards the end of this afternoon and uh, this evening. I'll talk you through tomorrow's uh, updates at the end of the video. So we're going to start off with a radar picture from the weatheroutlook.com, and there's a lots of dry weather across the country today, so no need to dwell on that uh, too much. I've got a bit of a shower close to the Isle of Man, but otherwise. It's a dry scene at the moment across the bulk of the country. Here's today's sort of pressure chart. So the high pressure over Scandinavia that's been dominating the weather and bringing those cold east winds over the past few days. That's uh, weakening and slipping away to the uh, northeast. And instead, we started to get low pressure developing out in the Atlantic with high-ish pressure to our south and southeast. And this is beginning to draw the winds up from the south. So... We haven't really changed the air, uh, the upper air temperatures at all uh, over the last few days. We have roughly at the same upper air temperatures that we've had all week. The only difference is that we turn the wind direction from the east to the south. That's bringing drier air up from France. That's allowing the cloud to break up and dissolve and uh, sunny spells to develop and the sunshine because the upper air temperatures have always been relatively warm this week. The sunshine will combine with the overall warm upper air temperatures to produce uh, a much warmer feel and that's exactly what is taking place today. Now, we do still have enough of an easy influence to mean that eastern coastal counties are likely to remain quite cloudy and misty. So, for eastern Scotland down into northeast England and probably going further south still along the east coast, expect more low cloud, more misty, murky, grey weather. At times, some of that could break, particularly around those southeastern coasts and the coast of Lincolnshire. I think it, the skies will brighter, maybe not particularly good sunshine coming through there. Um, but the sky should brighten in, uh, in those eastern coastal counties. But go further northeast to sort of Newcastle and up to Aberdeen, I think you're likely to keep a lot of uh, grey weather going for much of the day. But elsewhere, the skies have bright, been brightening through this morning, but are continue into this afternoon with sunny spells uh, and variable cloud amounts developing. Now, we might spark off one or two heavy showers this afternoon, and uh, that might uh, bring a shower to the Grand National at Aintree. I think anyone place going to be very unlucky to catch uh, a shower because they're going to be very well scattered but we saw a rare picture there is one close to the Isle of Man and I expect more of those very scattered showers to break out uh, later on this afternoon but it's a warm day temperatures away from the east coast anywhere it's like to be quite cold there with temperatures probably pegged back in the uh, mist to just 10 degrees but elsewhere it is going to be a warmer day with temperatures ranging from around say 12 to 19 degrees celsius 90 degrees celsius is 66 Fahrenheit. Overnight tonight, low pressure is getting closer from the Atlantic, so that's going to bring 
a freshly winged and outbreaks of showery rain to Ireland and the very far southwestern tip of uh, England, maybe in some parts of Pembrokeshire by the end of the night. But the bulk of the country will have a dry night tonight with a mix of clear spells and variable cloud temperatures ranging from around 4 to 8 degrees Celsius, so no real problems uh, with temperatures. Through tomorrow, we're bringing another weather system in from off the Atlantic this time. So it will be a more unsettled day on Sunday. Northern, Central and East areas will start Sunday with uh, really good sunny spells, but in the West and Southwest, It'll be cloudy from the word go with outbreaks of rain moving in from off the Atlantic Ocean. And that cloud of rain is going to spread northwards and eastwards through the course of the day. There could be some quite heavy and persistent rain through uh, central, northern and western parts of the country. But down in the southeast, I think the rain is likely to be pretty uh, patchy and showery in nature. Uh, and generally reasonably light. So for the southeast, it will cloud over. There will be a little bit of rain coming through tomorrow afternoon. But the bulk of the wet weather is actually going to be for, through central northern and western parts of the country. Temperatures not as high as today because it's going to be more cloud, but even so, pleasantly warm, uh, really ranging from around 10 to uh, 17 degrees Celsius. Now we go through to money, you'll probably look at that and think we're going to be in for a real battering of wet and windy weather because we've got a really deep area of low pressure deepening like mad in the central part of the Atlantic. And that's bringing really strong winds just to the west of the British Isles. So out in the Atlantic, it's going to be a proper old storm blow. But this low pressure is going to be stalling in the middle part of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, through this week, and that's going to allow high pressure to build to our south and to our east as well. Nevertheless, we do have complications to start off with. So on Monday, I'm going to have mainly dry start with decent sunny spells. Most southern and eastern parts of the country will remain dry with sunny spells continuing, although it probably turns cloudier through the course of Monday afternoon. But out in the west, you can see from the tight packed isobars, it's going to be turning increasingly windy with cloud and rain spreading in towards Ireland and western Scotland through the course of Monday afternoon, driven in by that strong to almost gale force uh, southwesterly wind. Temperatures will be ranging from around 10 to 17 degrees Celsius once again. I mean, see what's happened as we go through to Tuesday. That low pressure is still there in the Atlantic, but it is stalling away to our northwest, which is allowing this ridge to build to the south and to the southeast. So low pressure is close enough, though, to give us wet weather overnight uh, Monday into Tuesday. That's going to be for the north and west. So Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, probably down to Wales, you'll start Tuesday on a cloudy and wet note with outbreaks of rain. Quite strong winds driving that in as well. Further south and southeast, a decent amount of dry weather, albeit with a fair amount of cloud through Tuesday morning. But through Tuesday afternoon, we should find sunny spells developing across much of the south and the southeast. In the north and west, the rain will turn lighter and patchier through the course of the day, with brighter skies gradually edging up from the south. As those bright skies develop, temperatures will be turning warmer, so the, uh, the south and southeast could see temperatures up to around 20 degrees by the end of Tuesday afternoon, that's 68 Fahrenheit. In the north and west, obviously with the cloud and rain, temperatures there will be lower, but even so, 12, 13, 14 is not too bad uh, for the middle of April. And then we get through into Wednesday, and that's when the high pressure is really taking over the pattern across uh, the UK and to our east. But wind is turning into the south as well. We may still have a legacy of cloud and showery rain left across parts of Scotland to begin with on Wednesday, but that should be pushed away through the day. And then we're looking at more or less a universally dry day with really good sunny spells going through. We might have unbroken sunshine across parts of the south and the southeast, and temperatures will be rocketing. So we're going to go at least to 21 degrees on Wednesday, 70 Fahrenheit. One or two places might go a little bit higher than that. And then this weather continues into Thursday as well. Here's our taste of summer uh, for April with the high pressure across Central Europe. We bring these southerly winds up across the country. Um, so again, we're looking at a very warm day. Maybe you'll say hot locally, given that um, it's April. The kind of temperatures we're seeing are going to be way above average for the 19th of April. Mostly dry, decent sunny spells, but we could have one or two scattered thundery showers breaking out. Maybe most likely 
over the Welsh Mountains and over the Pennines too. But it's really going to be the temperatures that will be the talking point on Thursday. I think most of us will see temperatures getting into the upper teens or low 20 Celsius and somewhere like central London could go up to around 25 or 26 degrees. That's into the upper 70s Fahrenheit. And then this goes on into Friday as well. But by Friday, we are starting to see signs of low pressure beginning to develop to our southwest. So pressure is just gradually leaking away and the atmosphere will be turning more unstable. But Friday should still be a reasonably dry day, particularly through eastern parts of the country with more very warm spells of sunshine. But in the west, I think we're likely to see a growing threat of showers or maybe even thunderstorms breaking out on Friday afternoon. Temperatures at the outside might reach 27 degrees. That's 81 Fahrenheit, remarkably warm for the 20th of April. But again, there is that growing threat of thundery showers. And of course, if there's more cloud around associated with those thundery showers, then we won't realise that temperature potential. But it is still going to be very warm and humid even on Friday. And then as we go into next weekend, we find low pressure gradually taking over, breaking down this spell of summer-like weather. So Saturday, I think there's a growing chance of thunderstorms or heavy thundery showers across particularly England and Wales. Scotland could hang on to uh, drier weather then. And then as we go through into Sunday, well, Sunday might not be too bad. I think the temperatures will be lower, though. We'll lose the humidity and the warm feel. Um, still relatively warm, though, for the time of year. There could be more showery rain in the southwest, but northeast hanging on to the driest weather. Notice the high pressure is gradually repositioning to the north of the UK. So that's starting to pull the wind back in from an easterly direction, perhaps. As we go into the following week, it could turn uh, quite a lot cooler and maybe unsettled as well. That's highly speculative. Finally, just having a look at the charts from the weather outlook. So today, we've got lots of dry weather with sunny spells, but a few scattered showers will develop. It certainly is a much brighter and warmer field compared to what we've had recently, however. Tomorrow, we've got cloud and rain spreading across the country. That rain should be quite light and showery in the southeast, but it is likely to be heavier in the north and the west. Monday brings a decent amount of fine weather to southern and eastern parts of the country, but it will turn a bit wet and windy in the west later on. That leads to a showery day for central and northern areas on Thursday, but in the south it's mostly dry, temperatures becoming increasingly warm. And then as we go through into Wednesday, that's a trend with those sunny spells pushing up from the south. We're going to have a burst of summer-like weather, particularly for England and Wales, warm and sunny on Wednesday. That sunshine will be spreading northwards. That's how things are looking on Thursday. So it's a mostly dry day. A scattered thunderstorm could develop over the Pennines or the Welsh Mountains, but the bulk of the country will stay dry. Very warm, if not temperatures that you call hot, really, for um, this time of year, uh, going into the mid-20s Celsius. And then on uh, Friday, it's still very warm, but probably a growing risk risk of heavy showers or maybe thunderstorms breaking out and that's particularly so for western parts of the country. So, in summary, we're going to get a burst of summer after all of the cold weather that we've had this spring. We're shifting in a few days from winter to uh, summer. The weather yet again doing something quite shocking and surprising. So, we're going to be seeing increasing amounts of sunshine moving up from the south in the week ahead. There'll be a lot of dry weather on offer as well. And the main talking point is going to be those temperatures really lifting up from midweek onwards, going into the mid to possibly up upper 20 Celsius down in the south could get very warm, locally hot, before perhaps thunderstorms breaking out towards the end of the week, taking us into probably a cooler and a rather showery weekend next weekend. Right, that's your weekend forecast, done and dusted. Don't forget to check out the uh, CFS 6 Look app, which will be coming up later on today. Tomorrow, we're going to have some summer analogues, and we'll be uh, having the Gazwell's Sunny Roundup as well. So come back for all of the updates tomorrow. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.